Hey there, my friend. It's Chrissy Gia here from ChrissyGia.com. And in this very exciting episode, we are talking about some home business ideas, all right? Hey, are you wondering to yourself, hey, I need to make a little bit extra cash, just a little bit extra here and there to do the things I need to do on a month-to-month -month basis and trying to figure out what options are available for you from home that you don't have to go out and do too much? Well, guess what? Stick around in this video because I'm going to share with you 17, yes, yeah, 17 different home business ideas that you can look through and decide which ones to help you make some extra income on a part-time basis in 2018, all right? And stick around to the end of the video too because I'm gonna reveal to you my number one best option for pretty much anyone to make money online with even if you have no skills and even if you have, you know nothing about the internet, right? This is gonna be pretty useful for you, all right? And oh, by the way, if you're new to my channel or rather if you're coming back, then hey, appreciate you. I really do. But if you're new to my channel, hey, don't forget to be sure to like this video, right? Definitely subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified whenever I release new videos on home businesses, work from home opportunities, home business ideas, and just a bunch of different ways you can make extra income in your life doing what you're already doing on a part-time basis, all right? All right, so let's get right down into it, all right? These are going to be 17 ideas, home business ideas that you can use to help you make some extra income, all right? Um, one thing that you'll notice is that some of these ideas ideas are a way opportunities that you can make some extra cash pretty fast right without a whole lot of skill sets and some of them will require a little bit more energy and effort to put into it and I like you might imagine the ones that require more energy are generally the ones that have a lot more reward on the back end so I just want you to kind of keep that in mind here okay as we get this party started all right so first one up first one outsourcing and freelancing all right I mean you can make some quite a bit of money just outsourcing your individual skill sets right I mean let's say for example you have skills in, in graphic design or maybe you have skills in, in in editing video editing doing videos you have skills in setting up websites man there are people who are looking for you that will pay you to do those things, right? One of the best places you can go to is Fiverr.com, right? And Fiverr is just a nice little website where, hey, if you know how to do graphic and design, then you can basically put your skill sets on there, right? Digital marketing, maybe writing, videos and animation. You got tech knowledge, maybe music and audio stuff. You know how to do voiceovers and mixes and stuff like that. You can get paid doing that. You simply just come on, come on here and set up a profile and set up your 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 your, your page and you just get started, right? And then a nice thing, yeah, you can do you can do it on your own time, part time, right? Your own timeline, and you decide to work with whoever you want to work with, right? So it's really pretty cool. Another one that is pretty good that I that that you want to consider is Upwork, right? So Upwork is kind of like a more upscale version of Fiverr where, like I said, if you're a freelancer, if you know how to do web development, mobile development, if you know how to design, writing, you know, admin skills, customer service skills, marketing skills, you can get paid doing these things and charge your own rate and get paid part-time doing however, to, how, whenever you have the time to do it. So it's, I mean, if you have skills from anything that you've done before in the past, there's always someone looking for to do that. So these are this is just a really good option that you just don't want to kind of forget. So number two is freelance writing. So kind of going into that freelancing, you'll be surprised. There is a lot of people that are looking for writers, right? There's a lot of technology that, that you know, they're producing videos and producing a lot of content online, offline, and things like that. But man, creative writing is still a thing, right? It's still a thing. So if you can, if you like writing, first of all, you gotta, you know, you gotta kind of like writing. And if you can like writing and you're, you're into writing about um, dining and restaurants, or maybe you're into dining about lifestyle and fashion and technology, and there's all kinds of things like that. There are people that are desperate <laughs> for you to like help them with their writing, and they will pay you to to help them write. Another place to do that is another same place is really is Upwork, right? I mean, you can go here and take a look at, like you said, right here it says writing, 
and you can find people who are like if you're writing wizard you can literally get started here create a profile post a job post a, uh, your, your working profile and then just let people find you who want to hire you out and pay you I mean you can do this on your own time once again and it's, it's part-time so it's a great home business idea for you to consider freelance writing. Another option you can consider is going to this website called textbroker.com. I actually learned it from another cat that was sharing some ideas about how you can, about home business ideas, and it's actually pretty cool, right? So essentially saying, hey, become a text broker author today. So if you can write and you can do creative writing, then you can literally get paid by doing that, by publishing content here, right? So if you go to the website and you click on where it says I write content, they'll show you how you can make money writing articles in a few simple steps, right? Literally, you register for free, you submit a writing sample so that they see how qualified you are, so you can't write crap, right? So if you want to get better at writing, then I'm sure there's courses and things like that you can take to get better with your writing skills, and then they'll rate you, and then they'll complete your author profile, and then you start writing for cash money. I mean, it's really that simple, right? I mean, it seems, seems pretty cool to me. I've not done this, but I'm not huge on writing, but if you are, this is a great home business idea that you can take advantage of to start making some money now. Okay, what's the next one? Create an info product, right? I mean, one of the biggest things that I really, really think that is just powerful about the internet is its ability to have create digital products, right? You can have them start on your own business where you are literally creating products off of information that you already know. Let's say, for example, you're like in the real estate and you know stuff about how to buy houses and sell houses and make investments off of it. You could literally create a digital product about that, right? Record some videos about you talking about it, going through it step by step with how you would do it. Or maybe you're into finance finances and you could create into investing. Maybe you're into fashion. You can show people how to create, make, make themselves look nice. You can create an entire course with this and sell it and people will buy it. What is the overhead on a course like that? Nothing, because you literally just, it was just your time and energy to put that course together. And so one of the, one of the best places you can go to to do that is Udemy, right? I had learned about this not too long ago. I was like, oh my God, this is pretty awesome. Udemy is just a website where you can learn, where you can come on here and buy courses that will teach you just about anything. Right. And so you can come here and see what people, students are viewing. Right. Courses about web development, you know, about maybe drawing. Right. Um, maybe you want courses about how to build websites and, and th things like that. I mean, it's really awesome. And you can literally create, create a course and then come on here and put your course on here and it will sell it for you. I mean, pretty awesome right and one of the things about it is leverage as soon as you put to create this type of work and get it out there and start selling it I mean it's awesome and another thing too if you're that kind of person I was like well I don't know how to where to go and get some skills if I don't have any skills to go to Upwork for example if I want to be a freelancer perfect opportunity right here right find a course that you're interested in one that's something that you're interested in, find a course take it learn some skills turn around and offer your services on Upwork boom Right. So what's next? Voiceover narrator. Now, did you know this is pretty awesome? People will pay you to like vo do voiceovers for their books or for their content, especially audiobooks. Because if you think about it, audiobooks is like a huge thing right now. Like I literally am listening to an audiobook almost all the time now when I'm on the road to and from work. I never listen to the radio anymore. Right. Because like um, Brian Chase used to say, you should turn your car into a mobile library. So all the people, successful people are, are into doing that right now. It's a great way to consume content while you're driving anyway. And you can get paid if you're really good with your voice and you're really a vo good voice actor. You can get paid by doing voiceovers for audiobooks, which is really, really awesome. And here's a website I found. As a penny penny hoarder, she she had, this person has a blog where they tell you how you can start making money as a voice actor, right? By reading audiobooks. So I I recommend that you go and try to search for it, and it's a really really good source. But essentially, you can you want to like take some take some classes so you can really be good, and then get some help 
and to get started with it just so that you're on the right track right because there's some things you should do, you should know to do and that's what this blog post kind of goes over it and then what's amazing is that you can go to a website called Amazon Creative Exchange yes Amazon is a beast Amazon has this platform where you can literally like promote yourself to do voice acting gigs and people will find you here and you can get contracts to do work part-time right and make money just using your voice acting over their audiobooks i mean it's it's awesome it's awesome so this is probably the place where most people are co coming to where you can kind of check that out right so another really awesome home business idea to consider if you have a good voice next up a virtual assistant right so if you have skills and you and let's say you lack the skills in graphic design and web development right but you're good at following directions, you could be a virtual assistant, right? There are a lot of business owners that are looking for people to help them in their business, right? And they don't they, they don't want to do a lot of this other stuff. So you can be a virtual assistant. That includes things like, you know, handling social media content and, and, and curating content. You could do eat right, eat, help them write their emails and format them, help them do customer service when they have customers that are that are calling up to their into their customer support line. You can help with blog post formatting them there is a ton of things you can do as a virtual assistant assistant and get paid pretty good money doing it once again one of the best places i can think of is going to upwork right and you can see how these people have are, are pretty much created a profile and basically posted what they do and what their skill sets are and put their own rate and just going from there right What's next? Coaching. You know, I really think that coaching is so awesome because I cannot think of anything online where you can make the most money. I mean, I mean, there's some things, but coaching is very lucrative because there is a ton of people online who want to learn how to do something. And taking the courses sometimes is just not enough. They need that one-on-one -on -one um, attention, that mentorship, that 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 one-on-one -on -one working time together to like really take the next level. And if you're really good and you have skill sets and things that people are looking for online, let's say you have skills and in, in doing advertisements, maybe you're good at Facebook ads or YouTube ads, maybe you're really good just on social media, maybe you're good at like talking to people and communication, maybe you're good at like creating blogs and and ranking videos or all kinds of stuff. I mean, if you have a skill set and you've gotten results with it there are people that are looking for you it's really one of one of like i said a very lucrative way so you got to think about what skills you have but not even just online skills do, are you do what the work that you do like you know if you have a job does it has it offered you some skills that opportunities to learn some skills that you can help others with maybe are you a teacher and you can teach other people are you an engineer and you can help with other things i mean you got to kind of be creative with these type of things but coaching is really an awesome like i said a great home business idea next up amazon handmade man i heard about this and this is killer amazon this is why amazon is such a beast by the way <laughs> okay and if you don't know Amazon Handmade is essentially a platform that Amazon has created to help out people who have who are crafters, right? They're artists and crafters and handmakers, and they create th niches, things like that. You know, people who create earrings, or they have necklaces, or they create bracelets and beads and little and fashion, little fashion items and things like that, or little trinkets, things like that. Amazon has created an entire platform for these people and that allows them to be able to sell all their products. So you come here, Amazon Handmade, it's basically a storefront for you. So if you if you create product, you know, little necklaces and or I mean I'm not doing necklaces, but like your earrings or, or whatever, and you're promoting that stuff, then you can come here, right? Create, apply to be able to get started. They'll approve you and you'll basically have your own online store. What makes this so genius is that one, Amazon is a massive platform that gets tons of traffic already to their website every single day, right? Number two, they're going to fulfill all of your orders for you. So you don't have to worry about sending the stuff and mailing it. They do it all for you. Yes, they take a 15% referral fee, but I mean, come on, for everything that they're doing, 
I mean, it's a pretty good deal, right? Like you said, you can get your products noticed. You can get some help when you need it on how to do this whole online thing. You know, they fulfill the product orders for you. You know, they can make custom orders easy, right? Join the associates program, which we're going to talk about later. And they only invite you to, to it. It's only by invitation only. So you got to apply and, you know, and get accepted. But, I mean, if your stuff is actually handmade, handcrafted stuff, you have a pretty good chance of being accepted from my understanding. So it's a great home business idea if you're the kind of person that has really cool stuff that you do at home, but you just don't have ways to get people to see you, you should definitely consider Amazon Handmade. What's next? Image consultant. Think about it. Have you seen that movie Hitch with Will Smith, right? I think an image consultant is a brilliant idea. If you're into that kind of thing, right? Essentially, an image consultant is someone who will help you with your image, right? They will help you with um, they will help you with your image, help you with your clothes and your look and your style, your fashion. That's what an image consultant is. They help you with interacting with the opposite sex too, if you have ch challenges with that. So they help you improve your communication. I mean. This is brilliant. If you love this kind of thing, if you love communicating with people and helping people and you know how to communicate, you love fashion, you know how you know what the latest trends are, you should definitely consider an image consultant as a whole business idea. Because let me tell you, right? I I personally am not the kind of person that wants to be thinking about this kind of thing. There's a ton of guys who either don't know how to look nice. Or, or they don't care, right? They don't want to, but they, they know that it's important. They will hire you. They will pay you big money to help them, to make them look good, especially if there's a woman involved, right? And women the same way too. So the Association of Image Consultants International, yes, believe it or not, there is an association for it, right? And so from my understanding, to, for you to get started, you really want to kind of go through this site because I'll talk about how you can get certification for becoming an image consultant. So you're certified, they'll give you some training. So even though you may are good at fashion, there's still some training that you can take and then just how kind of help you in the, per, in, in the development of your career and your business. So that's something to consider as a home business idea if you're into helping people with fashion and looking good. Next up is renting out your property, okay? So, I mean, I've seen people who are doing this now, is especially if you have something as of extra quantity, you can basically rent it out to people. And one of the biggest ones that come out, come to me is Airbnb, right? So for example, if you have what they specialize as a platform to help you host, host listings for places that you may have extra space that is not being filled by anyone that you can just basically rent out, right? So if you have an extra bedroom or, or or a basement or something like that that's not being used, you can essentially go on to Airbnb site here and basically put a listing up and people can find you who are wanting to visit the, your, your city and find and get better rates. They will find you. This is a really, really great way to make some extra money. You know, a home business idea literally from home, right? Using your own space that you don't already use. And one thing about Airbnb is that it's very simple to get started. So for example, if you're in Richmond, Texas or Houston, Texas, where I'm at, then the monthly, this is the monthly potential for someone just staying in your, in your, in your, in your, in your, in your extra room. It's pretty cool. And what's nice about it, like you say, they make it real simple. Literally, you just create your listing, right? You welcome guests who will come and you get paid. I mean, it's no simpler than that, right? And then, but also, you should also consider about the fact that if you have assets that you can rent out to people, that's an also a way that you make some extra money. Another home business idea you should consider. For example, I know people who have Facebook groups that have massive audiences in a particular niche, and they'll basically rent out the top the top posting space, the pinned post, and they'll rent that out to people as a form of advertising. I mean, they're making money. You, they usually make money from it, and they own that asset. It's literally a residual income from them, depending on how many people want to get their hands on that spot. So you just got to kind of be creative with how you can rent out opportunity, rent out assets that you're not already using. So it's another home business idea to definitely consider. What's next on the list? Uber. Now, I know what you're thinking, Chris, that is not necessarily a home business type idea. And I get it. 
But I, I really like this idea twofold. Now, if you don't know what Uber is, right? Basically, Uber is like a ride sharing um, business, right? Where people who have their own vehicles can be part of this entire program and basically serve as taxi people who are not really taxis. So it's really cool so that if you have maybe you go to work and you come back and you have a couple hours to kill before you have to get back home well you can slap on your uber thing turn that thing on and ride, take a couple people and pick up a couple people take them where they need to go and make some extra change right so what's nice about it once again is that it's on your own time right you literally can do it whenever you want to whenever you feel like it you can just use your car and get paid Right. And so if you come here to their website, it's really simple to get started. You earn at least a thousand dollars for your first hundred fifty trips guaranteed in Houston. Look at that. That's pretty cool. You know. Right. So work that puts you first. Drive when you want. Earn what you need. And so it's really, really cool. I like it. It's, it's, I mean, we've used it all the time just to get places when we travel. So you might as well make extra money doing it, you know, as a home business idea. Now, another reason why I like it is that literally when you're driving, and taking, picking these people up and taking them where they're going, you literally can talk to them. These are opportunities to talk to people. Now, if you're afraid to communicate and network with people, then you might miss out on this opportunity. But that would be a shame because what you could do is use that as an opportunity to promote other products and services and things that you have just through the flow of the conversation, right? Say, for example, you're, you're um, you know, let's say you have you know, a spot that you're renting out, right, on, on Airbnb, or maybe you just got started as an image consultant, literally, you can say, hey, you know, and, you know, are you new here in, in this city, da, 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 chat them up, and literally hand them a card, and let hand them, tell them to go to your website, or have, get them on your email list, I mean, it's a great way to prospect for people who might be interested in other products and services that you're, that you're promoting, while you're making money driving them around, I mean, come on. I mean, that's a two for one. You gotta love that home business idea right there, right? <laughs> What's next? Social media consultant. I think this is a really, really awesome idea for a home business because if you're really good with social media and you know how to get people to pay attention, you know how to do Facebook ads, for example, and advertisements on Facebook or on YouTube, you know how to create brands and get brand awareness and people engaging on content, that is a huge, huge skill set. Let me tell you why. Because there are a ton of people who are lacking in that skill set, a ton of business owners who know they need to be online, but they only they either don't have the time or they don't have the want to to try to learn all this social media stuff. So there's literally people in your area right now, like local businesses that you could literally go up to and say, hey, you know what? I'm a social media consultant. I've noticed that you don't have a website. I've noticed you don't have a Facebook page, right? Hey, I would be willing to help you out for a certain rate, um, depending on the results that I produce for you. I mean, like literally, you can set up, get a pretty good pitch together and make a pretty compelling, compelling argument for them, right? Why they need you and what you can do to help them. It's just a really awesome home business idea to consider, especially if you're going to be on social media anyway. So next up on our list a life coach, right? There's a lot of people that I know who have gone into the life coach business, right? Essentially what it is, is people that help you in your life, right? They help you through um, through challenges, right? Let's say you're getting a divorce or maybe you're getting married or maybe you're having new children. They help you through your career options and help you make decisions about where you should go. They help you gain more confidence in yourself. Let's say you're feeling down or your heart's been broken or you feel depressed. They just help you get a focus on your life. Right? They help you take to take a balance, balance your life out so that you are physically, spiritually, mentally, and emotionally balanced. And it's, 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 if you are the kind of person that has your life together and you can give sound advice, you can help people, and, and you're a, a good communicator, then a life coach is something you might want to consider. So they actually have a website where you can go to to be able to get some training for that. Once again, it's the same thing with uh, I think it was the image consultant, right? And the other and the other thing, you want to kind of get some training first, right? The International Coach Federation will actually help you go through the process of getting training and then getting certified to be a life coach, which helps you, right? So um, 
First of all, if you can ask questions, right, you know, you can get coaching training after you have all your questions answered so that you are, a, a, you know, a coach that can definitely, you know, you have your skills, you got your stuff together, basically, right? And then you can join this organization. It's always good to, it's always good to be part of an organization that, that's promoting it and knows exactly what you should do. So you have some guidance on this, but this is places I would start if a life coach is a home business idea that, that jives with you. What's next? E-commerce, right? E-commerce is like is booming right now. Why? Because it's one of, it's one of the home business ideas that that can make you a ton of money without ever leaving the comforts of your home. So the way e-commerce works is essentially you're buying products from one place at a lower price and going over to another platform to sell it at a higher price. Right, so that's literally what e-commerce is, and what works, how it works, is that you literally can promote, get products, promote them, someone will buy them, and you never have to do any of the fulfillment, any selling of the orders, or anything. They literally will can buy the product and get shipped directly to them, and you never ever have to see it. That is the beauty of e-commerce, and one of the most popular sites you can do that is Shopify. So Shopify literally is like an online store. It literally is. You can have your own online store selling and promoting whatever type of niche products you want, literally. And that's what makes it so awesome. They literally handle everything for you. So you don't have to worry about the platform. You don't have to worry about the design. They literally create this whole online store for you. So you can kind of go here. So it's, your mission is control everything in one place. So your products in many places can be overwhelming, right? Just use their platform and get everything from one place. So what's powerful about it is that you can see a lot of businesses, even reputable businesses are using Shopify right now. And it's got a lot of features. So you got your own website that you can have, your own store and blog, right? The um, product inventory and limited bandwidth. You can sell your new sales channels on, on Pinterest and Amazon and promote it. You know, customer service 24-7, save time and money with Shopify shipping rates. I mean, everything is here. Another home business idea that, I, that I've noticed has been pretty popular right now. What's next? Reviews and credit. So let's say you are the kind of person that likes to go to restaurants a lot, right? And you are really good at knowing what the latest restaurants are, latest trends, the best foods in your particular area. Well, you could probably be a reviewer, you know? I mean, especially if you're the kind of person that likes to go on Yelp, for example, and give your honest review about what you saw and how you ate and how the ambiance were. You might as well get paid for that, right? <laughs> so you can do that kind of thing, right? Just simply by getting started with it. So, or maybe you want to be a critic, right? You can like, you know, do movie reviews, right? I don't know how well you get paid with some of these things, but I know that there's cash that can be made and promotions that you can do just by doing reviews and critics on different things. And it doesn't have to be restaurants or movies. It can be on fashion. It can be on businesses. It can be on um, different events and different areas in your, in your city. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do. All you gotta do is just step your business, get started with it, start, start writing your reviews and and getting it out there and start promoting and letting people know and you can attract people attract these different um different restaurants and different establishments and you can work out certain deals with them too so that's an opportunity right there that you can create some home business income part-time income in your business right all right next up is blogging all right if you think that blogging is not working anymore and nobody blogs anymore i want to tell you that that is false Blogging is just is is one of the best. If you ask me, one of the best ways, best home business ideas that you can that 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 is available, where you can make great money on your own time, right? You simply can you simply create think of a niche, right? You think about a thing that that you like that you can that will that's likely to be around for a long time, and you start blogging on it. You start coming up with ideas on 
on different content and things like that. And literally the way it works is you create content around there and then you can go to other sites and put affiliate like sites and affiliate links, which we're about to talk, talk about a little bit. And that's how you can make a lot of money through your blog, through your blog posts, right? And so I had a friend who asked me, hey, you know, is it, is it, a, is it a thing? Is it not a thing anymore? And I told her, to be honest with you, blogging is one of the most leveraged activities you could ever do for an online business. It literally is. Blog posts stay out there forever, continue to get traffic, they continue to get clicks, and they continue to get sales, right? It may take a little bit of time to get your blog up, but I mean, it is one of the best things. Once it's going, I mean, it's leveraged, it's super passive. Part-time, I mean, you can make full-time income. Let me give you an example of a website, a blog that I'm familiar with. Now, this is uh, a guy that I know, Rob Ford. He is an affiliate marketer and I mean, an internet marketer and does a whole lot of that uh, of affiliate marketing using his blog, right? I want you to notice something. Notice how plain this blog is, right? There is nothing special about what you're seeing here, right? He's writing posts about make money online, make money blogging, right? And would it, do, would it surprise you if I told you that he makes well over a hundred grand a year on this blog, well over a hundred grand a year, part time. Okay, so if someone tells you that blogging is not a thing anymore, don't listen to that. Right, blogging is one of my top home business ideas that anybody can get started with and start and literally start making money, but not quickly because it takes a little bit of time. But once again, these are one of the ones that I said that. Take a little bit of time to get started. You just have to stick with it, get some training, get some skills, and start putting your blog together and keep on with it, keep on. And when you look up, you are making a killing with it, all right? Next, number 16, being an influencer. I believe that anybody can make money from home, work from home, a full-time income, not even part-time, but full-time, if they committed themselves to becoming an influencer. Something that nobody really is talking about. Now, what do I mean by that? Think about what an influencer is. Someone who influences others is someone who's recognized an authority in a particular niche, an established expert, right? Someone that people just look up to, right? I mean, one of the basic, biggest examples of an influencer that you can think of is becoming a YouTuber, right? So you go to YouTube, you see all these people here who, have cre who are creators that are creating content and have gathered an audience. Within just their audience, they can influence them, right? They influence them and they make tons of money doing it. Think of it the same way as reality TV stars. These people are people who are just regular people, just like you and myself, right? Who are who have gathered an audience. They've got it. They they niched themselves in, in a particular way and are either entertaining or providing education to people. And so when they create content, people show up. And when they recommend something, people buy. So you, I mean, you can come here and find all kinds of people doing the exact same thing. That's what makes YouTube awesome. Cause literally anybody become can become a reality TV star. Look at these, look at this couple here, Gray Selvig, right? They're, they've got literally 165,000 views on their video, right? Talking about what? Each other's outfits, <laughs> right? I mean, you just go through here. This guy is doing a blind chicken wing test, right? That's got 1.9 million views, right? I mean, this is another one of those home business ideas where it takes a little bit of time. Building an audience is not something that happens over time. You have to consistently be showing up for your marketplace, for that particular niche, creating content and showing up and being someone of value, someone that commands authority. Here's another example is Instagram. Instagram, people show up all the time with all kinds of stuff. So if you're into makeup, all you got to do is create a niche, find a niche that you like. Right? Maybe you're into makeup. Maybe you're into fashion. Maybe you're into working out and health and fitness. Maybe you're into like investing. Maybe you're into real estate. Maybe you're into business. Maybe you're into food. Whatever it is, niche yourself into it. Go to get on Instagram, get on YouTube, and just start creating content around that brand. That's how you become an influencer. Let me give you another example. On Facebook, there is this woman here. She calls herself the money saving mom, right? All she does, literally, you can come on here, 
and see that she has videos where she is just sharing with people the latest deals that has gone down, that she's found the latest coupon deals. This is crazy. She must love couponing, right? Because she wouldn't do it if she didn't. And now she's created an influence, like an audience. Look at this, 900,000 people. Like I said, an influencer is just one of the best home business ideas. Yes, it doesn't pay immediately, but it definitely has long-term value if you're talking about not only making a part-time income, but making a full-time income and changing your life for the better. Now, finally, number 17 we're going into is one of my favorite home business ideas, and that is affiliate marketing. Let me tell you, affiliate marketing is probably the greatest thing ever invented. It is a genius of idea, right? Why? Because let me, uh, before we get before I get into it, what is affiliate marketing? If you don't know, essentially what it is is you partnering up with any business that that promotes a product or service, and when, and whenever you promote this company's business product or service and to someone, and someone makes a purchase because of you promoting to them. Not only will the business make a sale, but then they take a portion of that sale in the form of a commission and pay you. It can range between 5, 10%, all up to 40, 50%, sometimes 100% commissions, depending on the product, depending on the service, depending on the niche. Now, what affiliate marketing, why affiliate marketing is so awesome is that literally you can have no skill sets. Literally, you can be the person that say, Chris, all of the rest of these I home business ideas didn't work for me, but it doesn't matter because you can literally become an affiliate and market anything and any with anyone you want with no prior skills and experience and start generating some income just by doing that. Now, one of the best places you can start off by doing it is by going to Amazon, right? Amazon is a beast. It's got everything, right? So Amazon Associates is their, is their program. Literally, you can get started for free and all of the products that Amazon already has on their websites, which is a ton, you can literally create links from them and then post them wherever you want to post them and promote to whoever you want to promote to. If they click on that link and go in there and make the purchase, you just made a, a sale, a commission. And it's up to 10% right here, as you're saying, in whatever it is that you're, whatever it is that they, that they bought, right? I mean, it's amazing. That's how a lot of bloggers, a lot of influencers, a lot of all the stuff we kind of mentioned before, that's how they make a lot of their money, right? What makes it so simple for them is because they've kind of gone through the part of the marketing part. They have an audience of people who are willing and ready to start buying whatever they they recommend to them because simply they have, a, they have the expertise, right? They have the influence over them. That's why I really like that idea. But you can easily do this without having the influence just yet and start making some extra cash right now. Another popular option is ClickBank, right? So ClickBank is a place that houses a ton of different products from all kinds of niches. Like if you literally just come here and can see everything they have between arts and entertainment, business and investing, computers and internet, e-marketing, business education, fiction, games, health and fitness, Whatever you're into, they have something that you can promote that you would that might jive with you, right? And then you can start promoting. You create an account, very simple, very quick, and you find a product you want to promote. You get on there and you and then you get your links and then you promote them and market them wherever you want to. Someone clicks on and buys. You just made a sale in affiliate marketing. All right, so it's really truly one of my favorite places to start for anybody who's looking to think about, hey, how can I start making money right now? This is my favorite home business idea, no doubt. And so that's it, my friends. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this was helpful. This was 17 home business ideas that will help you make some extra income on a part-time basis for 2018. Hope it was helpful, all right? Be sure to subscribe. Definitely definitely give this video a like and definitely subscribe to the channel, all right? And hey, if you have any ideas, man, other home business ideas that you know of, if you've used that's worked for you, hey, leave it in the comments section, all right? I'd love to see it. And oh, by the way, before you leave, hey, I want, if you haven't already checked it out, I want to share with you my number one 
recommended way to make money online, all right? If you're looking for the best home business idea that I have, this is the best one that I've used. I actually put money in my pocket and I absolutely know that it can too for you too, especially if you're on a part-time basis and will help you in any type of marketing effort that you're looking to. So my number one recommended program for making money online is in the link below. So definitely click the link right there and get access to that, all right? So that's it, my friend. This video has been on 17 home business ideas that will help you make some extra cash money part-time in 2018 all right so until next time be blessed stay hungry out there and i'll see you on the next one bye now